Miles Strobel News fans, I came across two interesting news articles that just uh, just happened to actually fit together, but a coincidence that they actually just came to me. We are all aware that the situation right now globally, uh, particularly in the West, is that the recession is the way it is, and there's been no actual recovery. There's been very there's been some skewed statistics on recovery in terms of jobs and whatnot. The GDP is still in a very strange place in corporate profits. By that, I mean Wall Street profits are certainly up. You know, what you mean capitalism does the best that it can to repair itself and to hell with everybody else? No kidding. The ruling class, the capitalist class, does what it can for itself and doesn't really give a damn about anybody else? Well, no kidding. Well, the problem here is that when there's a recovery only for the rich and not for the poor, the poor tend to lash back at the system for doing what comes naturally to it. The poor don't, or the working class, the poor and working class, and starting now to be the middle class, or now former middle class, depending on how you analyze it, they're getting angrier and angrier that these things are going on, and it's making things much more difficult for the, the capitalist class to continue. The bourgeoisie and its state apparatus do have to have a response of sort to the ongoing situation. As poverty increases, crime obviously increases. And when poverty increases and people go from from one extreme of uh, you know the American dream to the American reality of poverty and whatnot, People tend to backlash, and there's all kinds of backlash. There's uh, leftist backlash, there's rightist backlash. Uh, leftist meaning either like the liberalish BS of not understanding what's going on and saying, oh, it's just the capitalist class. Meaning that it's just, uh, you know, people are being too greedy. Greed is good, but it's too greedy. Or it's just a few bad eggs in the government or something like that. Or it's a corporatocracy. While not understanding that it's actually an effect of capitalism itself. This is the way the system works. This is what it does. And this is what it's always going to do. Or you have it on the right, where it's the immigrants, the non-Christians, the women, the feminists, the homosexuals, uh, everything... As they say, like with conspiracies, anything but capitalism. But what does all this mean? I mean, obviously, I'm going somewhere with this and I'm going to be making a point. Well, that point being, the capitalist class needs to suppress the population, the popular anger that will come up, or the naturally occurring poverty that will come up. Now, that can be, you know, just about anything. Uh, that from the left or the right, either way, it has to be put down. And the way they're going to do that is through state repression. And by state, I mean the actual general state and the police itself. Here's the point I was trying to make. Here's the, here's the first article that I wanted to talk about. It has been revealed through general estimates that, about, that since 9-11, about, about 5,000 people have been killed by the police. That's almost as much as the number of people who have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. Just about as many regular everyday Americans have been killed by the police as the so-called enemy in Iraq and Afghanistan have killed U.S. soldiers. Okay, like Americans, like, do you, do you understand the seriousness of this? The police are killing more of your regular people than the people in an actual war zone. Of course, you can point out that there's more people in the US, but the point remains. The police are killing more people in the US than the supposed enemies in the Middle East, the countries that are being occupied. Which, mean, which means literally your own government is more of a threat to your existence than foreign fighters are to the US military. Think about that for a moment. Really, we shouldn't expect anything else to happen. This is a natural function of the, of the state, the, of the bourgeois state, in order to defend the interests of the bourgeois class. And it's just going to keep happening. I mean, there's no, it's not a coincidence that as things have gotten worse, police killings have escalated. Now, we don't know the exact number because technically police departments aren't actually required to hand over detailed information about all the killings that they carry out. 
Now, I don't have time to go into all that here, but that is in the article that is linked in the description, including uh, uh, much more about police killings, including uh, racism and stuff like that. So check that out in the description to get more information on, on that issue of counting how many people have been killed by the police specifically. Now, on the other side of the class spectrum, a company in Texas that produces armored vehicles is now saying they have seen a massive boom in the purchase of armored vehicles. The U.S. capitalist class is buying more armored vehicles to defend themselves than probably at any other time. It should not be seen as a coincidence that it's happening right now, that now more members of the ruling class are getting scared for their safety. Are they worried about terrorism? Are they worried about FEMA camps? No. They're worried about regular everyday street crime and worried about people that are essentially going to rise up. Do they consciously know that it's people that are rising up? No. But they do know popular anger is going to be thrown at the rich. Now, they believe that they haven't done anything wrong. And maybe on an individual level, they haven't. They are, however, the beneficiaries of a system designed to create class divide, to create inequality and wealth. They are the people who score from the system. They are the people who have the power in the system. Thus, the popular anger is going to be directed at them, which is on some level, you know, rightfully so, but on another level, it should be aimed at the functioning of the system itself. The point is, on a very conscious level, the ruling class, the capitalist class in the United States is well aware that there are bad times coming and they already see these bad times beginning right now which is why they've, they're starting to purchase all these more armored vehicles. They too know that something's coming that some kind of righteous retribution or unfair targeting of rich people depending on how you see it is definitely coming and there is a, a very serious threat to them and their way of life. The capitalist class does benefit from the system and people do realize that. Whether they believe it's uh, just some greedy rich that have gone too far or the actual functioning of the system itself. So the fact that these two statistics or these, pardon me, these two articles came out at this time is not a coincidence. It's actually very appropriate given what is going on with the country right now. Hopefully, this will lead to more class consciousness and being aware of what's going on and how the system does what it's doing. And that this is not some you know, aberration. This is not some hiccup in the market or just a few greedy people going too far. But the end result of capitalism itself, and hopefully an acknowledgement of that, can create some kind of change for the better. Thank you for watching. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, share on various social media. And if you want, there's some other great content here you could check out.